Now this next one we're gonna talk on this list, I'm actually surprised this one's not higher on the list because this is a book that you don't see come up very often and there's not too many people aware of it, but we're talking about that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 100. This was the North Carolina Comic-Con variant by Peach Momoko. Yeah, absolutely. This is a book that kind of had a lot going on with its release. As Peach Momoko really started to rise in popularity, North Carolina Comic-Con was in a perfect situation because she was already scheduled to be a guest. They had a uh, convention variant planned with this upcoming big event issue for TMNT 100. This cover, I think, is the, this is the book that I don't think a lot of people are aware of, Brian. I don't think people have seen this. And, um, it's, in, and it's not, I won't say typical style, but looking at it, it doesn't scream Peach Momoko to me. Yeah. And like you brought up before, it's also gorgeous because it almost looks like a movie cover. Right, it gives you the feeling of almost like a Japanese cinema cover. Uh, and, and it's a great depiction of the Ninja Turtles. It's very different. And as a collector of Ninja Turtles variants and comics in general, um, this is a book that really was striking to me upon seeing it. When the convention started, though, there were some printing issues, and this book wasn't readily available. Instead, everybody went for the signed prints. They had some prints available for sale, and that's what people had that weekend at the convention. The book came out later, was sold online, only a 250 print run, which I think was smaller than what they had initially, you know, kind of looked for. So I think they had some issues with printing and condition, which has happened before uh, at, at conventions. And it's, it's a difficult thing to deal with. And all of that is kind of a perfect storm. This book is a $50 book. I think it's a book with potential to do more. I know there were a lot of uh, in store variants for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 100. And you have to really be discerning when picking them. But I, I really think if Peter Moko is going to continue to be a cover artist that People are going to love and chase her covers. This is a book that is going to be hard to find. It's important. And it's just an A-plus uh, piece of art. It's a real home run to me. Yeah, I'm glad it's on the list. Like I said, I thought it might be a little bit higher. But, hey, we're smack dab in the middle of it. Do us a favor also. Comment down below. Do you have a copy of this? Are you aware of this? And if you saw it, would you pay 50 bucks to see it? I think I would if I found it for 50 bucks. <laughs> 